there's ascending paralysis, I think this patient's got GBS. At this point, you're like, well, it could be AIDP, AMAN or AMSAN. What's your next step to diagnose? You want to do a lumbar puncture, right? The normal next step becomes a lumbar puncture. And on your lumbar puncture, what would you see? Oligoclonal bands is seen in multiple sclerosis, not in GBS. What are you supposed to see? Because everybody loves to say, let's get an LP on the patient's GBS. But what are you looking for? You will have elevated protein. But what would happen to WBC? Would it be high? WBC will be normal. Too slightly elevated. It could be slightly elevated, but not significantly elevated. What is this called? It is called albuminocytologic dissociation. Of course, my famous question after this is going to be why? Why is your protein going up in your CSF but not WBC? When do you see WBC going up in your CSF? When you have meningitis, right? What if I told you your biggest, your biggest protector of the brain is truly your meninges. If you don't disrupt your meninges, you don't disrupt your blood brain barrier. Here, in a patient with GBS, are you affecting meninges? No, so your blood brain barrier is not broken. So therefore, you will not expect to see an elevated WBC. What you're damaging in this patient is going to be a blood nerve barrier. So what happens is you are damaging the nerves and you're having a local inflammation which will lead to elevated protein. But the white blood cell will not come up because you have not truly broken your blood brain barrier. Make sense? That is why you will see an albuminocytologic dissociation, elevated protein, but a normal WBC. But WBC can be slightly high. If you see that, now you have a high likelihood of GBS.